Dr. Diana Clements, a medical expert from GSK, is joined by Katie, a meningitis survivor, and they're joining us today to share some important information about meningitis vaccination that could help protect teens against meningitis B and to discuss a new short film that educates parents of, of teens about this illness as well. So thank you for joining us. I have two teenagers, so uh, very interested to hear about this. Doctor, let's start with you. What is meningitis B, why are teens and young adults more at risk? Meningitis B is an uncommon but serious disease that can cause lifelong complications or, or even death. And usually when teenagers or young adults get it, disease, the disease progresses really quickly, sometimes in as little as 24 hours. And as you know, <laughs> teenagers and young adults have particular behaviors that are part of their normal, you know, day-to-day -day life. They live in close quarters, they share utensils, um, they share other things. So these are behaviors that put them at higher risk for this disease. Yeah. About one in 10 of those that get it, unfortunately, are going to, uh, are dying, even with appropriate treatment. And out of those that survive, about one in five have long time, long term complications that impact their le the rest of their lives. Oh, I mean, this is really interesting because I haven't heard a lot of talk about this. And as I mentioned, I have teenagers. So I think a lot of parents don't know much about this. So, uh, what should parents know about the vaccination? Most important, parents should feel empowered to talk to their doctor about this vaccination. So that's why we're here to empower parents uh, and and uh, share uh, disease information and vaccination information. There are several types of meningitis vaccines. Some uh, most teenagers or early teenagers uh, get the meningitis vaccination at age eleven and then at age sixteen. Meningitis B vaccination is the other type of meningitis vaccine that teenagers get between 16 and 23 with a preferred age between 16 and 18. So right before that college um, period of time, you know, when you go into your doctor and have all, the, all of the discussions around what your teenager needs to go to college. So what we want to share today is that parents have to have that discussion if their doctor doesn't bring it up and ask to be sure that their teenager uh, can be vaccinated again against meningitis B. Very interesting. Um, have most kids had the meningitis B vaccination? Actually not. Only about three in 10 of 17 year olds have received at least one dose of the meningitis B vaccination. So most of them haven't. Um, and that's why bring it, bringing it up during the visit is important. Yeah. Uh, Katie, let's talk about the, the film, the short film. Um, what is it? What prompted you to participate in it? Sure. It's I Never Thought to Ask a Mom's Quest for Answers. And it's a short film by GSK and Lifetime to help raise awareness of meningitis B and also share stories, share very real personal stories, my own story. And then I also got to work with families that have been affected by the disease as well, and really just help bring awareness to the disease and for parents, again, to feel empowered to speak with their child's pediatrician about vaccination. Can you share um, your experience through men with meningitis? Yes, I contracted meningitis when I was a freshman in college. I was 18 years old. And it all started with a headache and I went to bed that night, thought I would wake up feeling better and I did not. Uh, it progressed very quickly, very severely, um, lots of pain, there was confusion, uh, really just an uh, incredibly hard couple of weeks actually in the hospital and then of course uh, months of recovery afterwards. Mm -hmm. And um, like Dr. Clement said, there are a lot of uh, survivors, unfortunately, that deal with lifelong complications of the disease. What would you like people to take away from your story? I would like for people to take away the seriousness of this disease. Although it is rare, uh, the potential impacts can be absolutely devastating and it can be prevented. <laughs> the conversation with your doctor is a great way to start and just a simple conversation uh, can lead to a much healthier and enjoyable college experience than I had. Yeah. So, and doctor, where can parents go to find out more information about the vaccination? 
first of all, talk to your child's doctor or your teenager's doctor about the vaccination against meningitis B. Second of all, you can go to the asktobesure.com website to get more information and definitely, definitely view the short film on the My Life Night Lifetime Network. Okay. Well, thank you so much, Katie, for sharing your story and doctor for giving us a medical expert point of view. It's really important information. And I, I think a, a lot of parents haven't thought about this. So thank you so much for sharing.